Yeah, of course I can babysit tonight, Mrs. Robinson. I love kids. They're so much fun. You have nothing to worry about. I have a ton of experience. Uh, um, a baby. I, I think it'll be okay. I mean, how hard can it be? In order for people to have kids, a pregnancy must occur. Now that can happen when sperm, which is produced in the testicles, combines with and fertilizes an egg, which is produced in the ovaries. Now if a fertilized egg attaches to the wall of the uterus, the process of pregnancy has begun. But how do the sperm and egg meet? There are several possibilities. The most common way for a sperm and egg to meet is during vaginal sex, when a penis is inserted into a vagina. Semen, which is a fluid that carries sperm, is ejaculated, and the sperm can swim up through the cervix and uterus and travel to the fallopian tubes, where they may find an egg. Now, if the egg and sperm unite, travel down to the uterus together, and implant in the uterine wall, then the process of pregnancy has begun. Some people get pregnant with the help of a doctor through a process called artificial insemination. This is when semen is injected into the cervix or uterus by a healthcare provider. The sperm must travel up to the fallopian tube and unite with an egg. The fertilized egg travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus and implants in the wall, and then the process of pregnancy has begun. Alternatively, Doctors can bring a sperm and egg together completely outside of the body in a laboratory and then later insert the fertilized egg into the uterus. This process is called in vitro fertilization. All of these methods may lead to pregnancy. Over the course of nine months, the fertilized egg grows into a fetus and develops organs and bodily functions until it's ready to be born. Pregnancy and childbirth are just one way a family can be formed. Some people choose to adopt children, and some people choose not to have children at all. Oh my god, it was horrible. I thought babies were supposed to be cute and in sleep all day. Who knew they could be so loud? Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye!